Oh my god, he's got a different colored eye! Oh! Alright, so this is gonna be an update video on these two. Um, V2 and RS Media. He now has a green eye and a blue eye. And he has blue eyes and he has uh, really cool lights in the mouth, which I will show you right now. Turning off this guy's eyes. Visual sensors are inoperative. Aye, aye, Captain. So, another thing that happened today is I quit one of my jobs. I have two jobs, well, I had two jobs, and I quit one of them. And this is why. I, I kind of just want to explain this to some of those new people who are getting jobs or whatever, and they're getting offered contracts and shit. Make sure you read them, by the way. Um, but I, well, I've been working at this one company for about three years now, I've shown the company and its personnel nothing but respect and etc. And, um, yeah, I got a contract today, and at first I thought, ooh, maybe this is going to be a raise. Since I've been in this company for so long, may they might be giving me a raise, or they might be, you know, doing something nice for me or something. I don't know. And um, when I read it, basically what it said was they want me to do more work for less money. They wanted me to work much more often. They wanted to pay me less that it was basically just a way to get me to work more hours for less pay. And um I I wasn't going to do that. So what it is, I ended my shift, I ended my job, and then I, you know, I went to my boss and I well, one of my my co-boss and uh I went up to him and said, you know, I I quit. I I'm not going to work under this contract's regulations. I I can't do that. This is this is unfair, I explained why, and I said, you know, I finished my shift today, and uh, this one's on the house. So, I ended my career at that place in a good manner, <laughs> in a good manner, rather than just saying, screw you, and walking out the the building like I wanted to do, because I was quite offended by that, of how they were trying to take advantage of me like that. Um, it was, it's just, I finished my shift, you know, I, I explained it, I shook his hand and I said, it's been a, it's been a good three years, but, um, this is, this is too low of cost. I'm not, I'm not doing all this crap for nothing pretty much. So, <laughs> yeah, so now, um, what this means for you guys on the YouTube channel is I'm not going to be buying as many things now. <laughs> Um, not that I ever really bought much. Prepare to shift to standby mode. You better Proceed. not. Your chance to drain. No. You do not. <laughs> um, so basically what this meant, what this means for you guys is I'm not going to be buying as much crap. I'm not going to be buying as many robots until I am get a, another job. And that will be soon because I'm going to be uh, 16 next month. And uh, I will be able to get another job. Danger. Um, so that would be great. Now, in the meantime, I have some cool videos planned. I'm planning on making a, some videos on these two. Um, I'm planning on making some more videos. I'm planning on uploading a, vi a few videos for my drone. And, um, on Tuesday, I am going, I'm debating if I'm going to do an unboxing or not. I'm getting something from, uh, Underground Reptiles. I don't know if any of you are familiar with that, but, um, one of my uh, one of my lizards passed away a while ago, and um, I got a new one. I got a new lizard after a while. Uh, it's a uh, well, I, I, it's a fire skink. And uh, if you haven't seen those suckers, they are beautiful. They're gorgeous lizards. They're really pretty, and I'm planning on making plenty of videos on it. Um, it was Vex, uh, my little sweetheart, uh, my little sweetheart lizard. She was. A beautiful lizard. She was so nice, and um, it's it was a really, really, really big shame to see her go. 
I, I really miss her. I don't know what she just stopped eating out of nowhere. She just went on like a hunger strike or something. I don't know. I did everything I could, believe me. I I love that lizard so much. I don't know what I don't know what got in her. She just decided, yeah, I'm not gonna eat anymore. Uh so she didn't eat anything, you know. I don't know. I brought her to I brought her to uh well I called a vet and I I called people who are, you know, more more influenced with this type of stuff and they are they have more intelligence on reptiles and animals than I do and um prepare to shift to standby mode and um it, they didn't know what was going on either it was just like no one knew <laughs> no one knew what was going on she just was weird okay enough talk enough about me complaining about my life uh so um if you guys haven't seen the videos that I uploaded um I I made uh, some videos where I was at Jordan's house or Joe Video's house with uh, Zora635 or uh, Kevin and Seth. Uh, and we made a lot of, we, well, I, I said I was going to make a lot of videos and I never did because, you know, me and my bullshit lies that I tell. <laughs> me and the bullshit things I say on my YouTube channel because I, I get wrapped up in the moment and I get too tired and we wound up working on the V2 and RS Media so much. And uh, yeah, I'll show you V2 dancing. I. I gotta, I gotta fix something for some. The position sensor in this, in that arm is uh, messed up for some reason. I don't know why, but uh, I'll have him dance. Understood. He looks really cool with the different colored eyes. And this, this is the arm that's bad, that's having problems with the position sensor. You can tell because it took a little bit longer for him to reset after the dance. And, um, this guy, all of his dances still work. I grabbed a V2 remote for him. Uh, arm mode. Media mode. That is weird, his subwoofer isn't... I think he looks badass. He looks so cool with blue eyes and those LEDs. He's so cool. For those of you who don't know, um, RS Media's uh, a bottom half legs, hey, motors down there, go? sensors, they don't work. Um, well, actually... My foot you, my what the fuck? <laughs> that comes to um, uh, uh, his motors on, on the bottom half do not work um, when, he has, uh, when he has this plugged in, the RS Media plugin. Uh, so yeah, when he's connected to the AC adapter. But yeah, and also his IR sensor is moved up here now. That was originally down there. It was moved up there, and uh, for some reason he sees like uh <laughs> really well now. For some reason he's able to always detect objects. I'll show you, and it's kind of weird. And, I'm, and I, if, it, if it gets to the point where it's going to start interfering with his roaming, I'm going to have to just disable that sensor all in general, but I'll show you what I mean. So I'm pretty far back away from him. And you're not going to do it now, are you? Now that I got the camera out, you little bastard. That is so weird. 
It is close. I can feel it. He escaped. No, impossible. Uh, yeah, I guess now it's being a little bastard and it won't prove. <laughs> just like I'm insane. What was happening originally is he would be, he was like tracking objects from a while, like a far away. He was, I don't know how he was doing it, but it was ridiculous. But yeah, anyways, uh, that's kind of a little video. I just kind of want to talk about some things and let you guys know that uh, more videos are planning on being produced because, uh, a lot of good things are going to happen this upcoming week. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next video, and uh, take care.